Okay, what we're going to be looking at today is focal chords of parabolas. Not vocal chords, focal chords. A little maths joke there for you. Okay, and this uh, graph here comes courtesy of desmos.com. So we have a parabola, y squared equals 8x. We have this point here, and we have this line, which is a focal chord, which goes through the focus, and we are asked to find what these coordinates are here. And we are told on the thumbnail, the claim is that we can do it instantaneously. And indeed you can, um, and you amaze your friends with it at parties. But first of all, we need to work out how to do it. And for that, we need to do some algebra. Okay, so um, let's just go to a more general uh, parabola here. So we've got the general parabola, y squared equals 4ax. We have the general parametric um, points on the parabola, at squared and 2at. Here is the focus, the general point of the focus is A0. And uh, this point down here, we're just going to use a different T, uh, AT1 squared, 2AT1. And what we're going to do over the next minute is try and get uh, an equation involving T and T1. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to look at this uh, triangle here first, and then this triangle here as well. And we know that this line here and this line here must have the same gradient as this is a focal chord. And therefore, we should be able to get a, um, a relationship between T and T1. OK, so let's go. So let's have a look at the gradient here of the big triangle first. And that is 2AT minus 0. So that's basically this point, 2AT minus 0, the y-axis, over AT squared minus a, which is basically the x-coordinate uh, of uh, this point here and the focus. And then we're going to say it's equal to the gradient of the, the smaller triangle equals 0 minus 2at1, which is the y-coordinates uh, there, over a minus at1 squared. OK, now all we've got to do is we've got to simplify this. So that implies that 2t over t squared minus 1 equals minus 2t1 over 1 minus t1 squared. Cancel out the 2. OK, and carrying on a little bit, we get t minus t t1 squared equals minus t1 t squared add t1, i.e. t minus t1 add t1 t squared minus t t1 squared equals 0. And bear with me because the uh, what it's well worth it because we get a lovely little uh, uh, formula at the end of it. Um, so i.e. t minus t1 add t t1 t minus t1 equals 0. And now what we can do is we can take out t minus t1 leaving us with 1 plus t t1 equals 0. So either t equals t1, well all that's telling us is, is it's the same point. So we can ignore that or t t1 equals minus 1 from that, i.e. t equals minus 1 over t1. And that is beautiful little formula, um, which means we can now put in here uh, as our uh, equation. Instead of t1, sorry, we can put uh, 1 over t. So this coordinate now will be a over t squared. And this coordinate here will be minus 2a over t t. So we can now read off the coordinate of the other side as long as we know what t and a are on this side. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go back to our original question. Um, where are we? Here's the original question here. Uh, and as promised, well, so y squared equals 8x. Well, in the general form, that's y squared equals 4ax. So we know, therefore, that a equals 2. And therefore, we know the focus here is the point uh, 2, 0. All right, now we know that's 4 and a half, 6. And we know that the uh, that is a t squared 2at. So using either of these two, we can work out from either of those. We know a is 2. So we let's this probably easier using 6. So 6 equals 2 times a, which is 2 times t, i.e. t equals 3 over 2. And so therefore, we can simply state that these um, uh, this coordinate here is, as we've just worked out, a over t squared minus 2a over t, which is just sticking our stuff in, 8 over 9 minus, whoops, sorry, minus 8 over 3. The coordinates of that point, pretty much by inspection, are 8 over 9 minus 8 over 3, because we can find a by inspection just by comparing the parabola to y squared equals 4ax, and then all we have to do is find what the value of t is in the coordinate given, and then plonk it into this lovely little uh, 
a coordinate here, and that gives us the answer. So the answer is uh, 8 over 9 minus 8 over 3. Now, for those so interested, I'm going to do a little bonus thing here, um, which is to find the length of this chord. Um, because sometimes in exams you do get asked, you're given P, you have to find Q here, and also it says what is the length of the focal cord, and there's a beautiful little equation um, which is relatively easy to remember the, the results, so I'll do that for those so interested. If you're not interested, please feel free to go off and watch some cat video or whatever it is that you do. Um, so let's just go uh, here, a little bit of space. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to do the length of the focal cord PQ, uh, and let's just see, PQ is going to be here, P and Q here, and we're going to use these coordinates here and these coordinates here and see if we can get a nice uh, formula for the length of PQ. Okay, well, it's going to equal by Pythagoras 2AT add 2A over T squared add AT squared minus A over T squared squared. Okay, now by the difference, uh, we can take A out of the whole lot of this, so that equals A square root. Okay, well, here we can take the 2 out, so that's 4 t plus 1 over t squared add and by the difference of two squares here this gives us t plus 1 over t squared t minus 1 over t squared okay and we can now take t plus 1 over t squared out of these uh, the square roots that gives us a t plus 1 over t root 4 add t minus 1 over t squared OK, and we're nearly there now, which uh, if we expand that bit there, that is t squared add 2 add 1 over t squared, which equals t add 1 over t squared. And then when we take the square root of it, we get a solution of a t plus 1 over t, t plus 1 over t, which is that bit, which equals a t plus 1 over t squared. Uh, and that is a beautiful little uh equation to remember the length of a focal cord all you need is a and t now incidentally the uh, we can use this formula just to confirm the length of the latest rectum if you remember the latest rectum uh, is the vertical line well in this case it's the vertical line going from here to here through the focus so this let's say is uh, p dashed and this let's say is q dashed sorry that the uh, uh, that the um uh, the graph is getting a little bit messy. But the latest rectum, this distance is 2a, and this distance is also 2a. So the total dis distance of the latest rectum from p dash to q dash is 4a. Well, we can actually prove that um, because this point here would be when t equals 1, because looking at our parametric equation here, p dash would be when t equals 1. And if we go into our formula down here that we've just proved, when t equals 1, that gives us a... 1 plus 1 squared, which equals 4a. And so that proves that the latest rectum distance is 4a. That is a very useful formula to remember. Uh, certainly this one is an absolutely essential um, thing to remember that um, because obviously it saves a lot of time if you remember it when you're answering a question like that uh, or like this. Um, so anyway, I hope you found this useful. I uh, hope it saves you time in exams. If you have, please uh, like this video by pressing the little thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel.